Hi everyone, I'm Lauren. And I'm Audrey. And today we are talking about our top five book friendships. Yes, because friendships Those are, are aggressively best. underrated. Yes, so and they're the best they really are. part of the books. So we're going to talk about them Friendship. today. Friendship. I'm not any, in any particular order. Um, the oh, first one is <laughs> always in order. <laughs> the first one is Piper and Conrad from The Girl Who Could Fly. If you read this, then you'll know like they're super cute. They start off as like huge enemies. Oh, that's then, the best yeah, kind yeah. of book friendship. Exactly. They start off as huge Come enemies, and, but then they just started becoming friends. And about the end of the book, um, she kind of like adopts him into her family mm -hmm. because he doesn't. One is Grover and Percy from the Percy Jackson series. This book has a lot of like Grover Percy friendship happenings in it. Grover gets sent to an island far away, and it's Percy's job to save him. Mm -hmm. And it's where they first test their like empathy link that they have in the books. Oh. And I just oh, Grover and Percy are such an underrated friendship, especially because like, sure. where did they go in Heroes of Olympus? Who knows? Where is Grover? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I definitely miss that dynamic, but they are they're just they're just best friends, like at their core. Mm -hmm. They are just besties and they're great. Mm -hmm. or, I love them. My next one is from the Mysterious Benedict Society, the four. Um, Rainy, Kate, Sticky, and Constance. And I love that they all just annoy each other so yeah, much, but they they're really still do. friends. <laughs> they really Especially do. with Constance. Because <laughs> she annoys them so Everyone much. Everyone hates Constance, but, then but they don't. Really. She proves that she actually cares for them when she, like, um, she, like, sacrificed herself to go through pain. I can't really explain it. It's very complicated. <laughs> but um, she does it for them, and then they're like, wait actually does care about our friendship mm -hmm. and it's just really cute. Pure. The next one is gonna be a surprise one! <laughs> Sophia Ironwood and Nicholas Carter from Wayfarer by Alexandra okay, I Baracket. don't give a song because so I haven't read it. has not yet read Wayfarer so she only knows Nicholas and Sophia's dynamic from Passenger in which they hate each other and that's kind of how Wayfarer kicks off and since so she hasn't read it and this is a relatively new book I'm not gonna spoil anything but seriously by the end of this book they have such an amazing like friendship like it's so strong because they have to be there for each other throughout this whole book and it's just, it's mm -hmm. amazing. And I love Sophia. I really do. I know you don't understand that yet either, but this... Nicholas and Sophia are so good together when I fair. They were probably the best part of the whole book. Surprisingly. I'm excited for that part. <laughs> My next one is A Study in Charlotte. Um, this one, I like Jamie and Charlotte's friendship, but also I want them to date. But I'm focusing on, Don't we all? I'm focusing on the friendship part. Um, Jamie is the first one who's finally gotten Charlotte to mm -hmm. kind of open up mm -hmm. and um, start to care for people. Yeah. Which sure, I really sure. love about him. He's just a big sweetie. And He's so cute. They just make each other stronger. They really do. So cute. They, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. My next one's kind of a cheating one. It's Margot and Lara Jean from the Twelve of Boys I've Loved Before so trilogy cute. now <laughs> by Jenny Han. They are sisters, which is why I kind of feel like I'm copping out, but you don't actually have to be friends with your sisters. So I do love their... They have a very strong relationship, but I feel bad for Kitty because sometimes she feels left yeah. out. But Lara Jean and Margot are like... If, if I ever had an older sister, I would I want wish, it to be I like, wish I had a sister like these my age. two. They are... So they have so much fun together. They just enjoy each other's company. Mm -hmm. And even when Lara Jean does something that really hurts Margot's feelings, which I'm not gonna discuss, <laughs> they still love each other without a doubt. And they are just a oh, solid A A plus friendship, Jenny Han. <laughs> My next one is the Golden Trio, which is not a surprise, and I know it's <laughs> What? <laughs> I know, I know. But I couldn't help it because they're the best friends ever. They're the best of friends. So <laughs> No words needed, but everyone uh, everyone's read Harry Potter. Yeah. I assume. I I hope. I hope so. Cause that's sad. At least the first book. That's all. Yes. Really sad. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyways, let's anyway, not judge yeah. people based on. But like, <laughs> I know Hermione and Ron get together, but like, Harry and Hermione. So the cute. best thing about this trio, is I'm gonna so kind of like <laughs> cramp on your speaking position for a minute. Yeah. Is that at one time they all kind of feel like the third wheel? Yeah. <laughs> One of them is always the third wheel in any given situation. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's pretty hilarious. <laughs> it's so true. 
but they still get through it. They do. They, they, they're still best of friends. They really are. I really like that about them. My next one is another good fantasy friendship. Frodo and Sam from the Lord of the Rings trilogy oh, by J.R.R. Tolkien. Oh. They're just, I mean, come on. It's Frodo and Sam, even if you haven't read the books. Frodo, your god! You've at least <laughs> seen the movies, I'm sure, and you just know that they have such a fantastic dynamic. They just work really well together. Sam is like a good balance for Frodo, who kind of like is like all the time. Sam's like, dude, chill, chill. I got you, man. Let me cook you some food. It's fine. Like, they're just good. They they're good for each other. Yes. If Frodo had gone on the journey without the Sam, he would have died yep. on the first like yep. day. I'm sure of it. And even though Sam was afraid, he had such a dedication to him. And also, I like Sam better than Frodo. Me too. Good. My last one is Emma and Gabriel. Oh. <laughs> because it's just the cutest thing. Because he's older and she's younger. Totally, and it's not weird. It's like it father is, figure because she yes, doesn't have her exactly. dad. Exactly. And the emo. And they just like <laughs> they just love each other so much mm -hmm. and it's so cute like yes oh, she's she's yes. one of the few people she trusts because she doesn't trust many people mm -hmm. and i just love them oh so, so good. cute so <laughs> good so from six of crows i could pick all of them if i wanted to <laughs> even though they won't admit especially Cass, won't admit to being friends with each other they all really do care for each other <laughs> but i'm gonna focus today on Nina and Inez, you have the most amazing, like, a girl power friendship <laughs> ever. It's so rad. Like, literally, it does not get better than <laughs> Nina and Inez. They're always there for each other, and they totally balance each other out. Like, Inez, her religion is, like, is super healthy, and Inez, like, waffles, though. Like, have you tried <laughs> waffles, Inez? <laughs> They're very different, but it's kind of an opposite the track situation where they balance each other out, like, very heavily. Like, when Nina gets too rambunctious, Inez just, like... Zen, my friend. <laughs> and when Ina's just too reserved, Nina's like, yeah, you can live a little if you feel like it. <laughs> so they're just, they balance each other out, and it's like such mm -hmm. solid girl power because they're both super cool and like intense and awesome. Yeah. And it's awesome. I love them. I really do. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> also, like, Jesper and Ina, and also, like, Nina and all friendships. All of all them. Those friendships. All of them! <laughs> Book friendships are so underrated, so if you have any other good book friendships that you love, comment below and we would love to definitely talk about mm -hmm. them with you. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. We we like to know that you liked it. Makes us happy. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to see more content like this, you can go ahead and hit subscribe. It's going to be this button right in between our faces. Right We're trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year, so share us with your friends so Definitely. that we can make that goal. If you want to watch our last video, it's going to be right down here. Comment on that one and give that one a big old thumbs up as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think yeah. I think that's all I have to say. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Audrey and I'm Lauren. And keep, keep on reading. reading.